Okay. Okay. <laughs> and away we go. Ah, jeez. Where do you start? Next. So, I'm Luke. I am not 6'4". I'm 6'2 at best, I'd say. Relates to the life that I was living, that we were living at the time. Because songwriting for, for us and for me was uh, going out and experiencing and I gave, I gave everything, we all did. We gave everything to this album and this song is another example of, of just, I mean, dying for your songwriting, really. One way you can take it is almost boasting that you have a lot of money and they're all dancing and uh, buying alcohol and buying drugs. Uh, with money that isn't theirs or is gonna dry up very quickly and I think a lot of people only are friends in uh, in the nightlife world because of I mean similar drugs they take or going out all the time and I don't I can't see them ever hanging out at a lunch date uh, get you high when I'm high so we see eye to eye we get along cuz we're both high cool uh, I had a train of thought. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. There was a batch of about eight, maybe ten songs we did with the same producer, Jake Sinclair, which may have resulted in a very different album, maybe along the lines of Why Won't You Love Me, Work Up in, ja Work up in Japan, Why Won't You Love Me, that kind of vibe. Um, and I'd say that's a pretty solid description of Five Seconds of Summer's third album, if not career. Um, boy band turned prog rock turned alt pop genius writers. I mean, it's fucking phenomenal. Can you say it without genius? Oh, sorry. Uh, the boy band turned prog rock turned ultra genius songwriters. <laughs> oh wait, genius is the word. I guess we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't genius. even mean to say genius again. <laughs> We're not geniuses. Some things are meant to be secrets and not to be heard. What? So if I tell you, just keep it and don't say a word. This is this a shot? Whoa. Uh, that's a hefty way to start off a song, huh? Huh? Did that lyric? Righto. Hey, we're back! Another segment! We got a new song for you, it's called Talk Fast. Yeah, I'm fucking drunk. So, this song's awesome. I love that it brings back kind of the... It makes me feel good because it brings back... It reminds me of like, she's kind of hot and uh, good girls in, in a weird way because it has kind of a quirky lyric, but it's, you know, a better quality song in my opinion. Ghost of You. Um, you, uh... I remember this very clearly now. For me, Valentine was about, I don't, I think, that sounds very cheesy. I'm gonna throw some cheddar in the works here. That Valentine's Day should be every day. Um, that's right. Yeah, that's what the lyric comes from. Throw the balloons and the teddy bears and chocolate eclairs away. I got nothing but love for you. Uh, got nothing but love for you, full more in love every day. Which I think is a beautiful love to feel. Thank you for your time, Luke. Yeah. Um, the production was uh, crucial for the album. Thank I you for your time, Luke. <laughs> and I th <laughs> You're never gonna make it! You're never gonna make it! <laughs> I'm a little drunk. <laughs> oh, sorry, want you back. Can we, uh, uh, think, think of uh, else that's so stack. Yeah. Making stacks. Oh, I like that. I was gonna make some stacks. Oh. I was gonna make some stacks. Fun fact, for me, the first inspiration was, I don't know if you've seen the show, This Is Us, 
there's this bit in the show where he, there's the dude that delivered the baby. You know what I'm talking about, Hoag? I delivered a couple babies in my time. This guy is the guy. He's the older gentleman that delivers the babies. It's out. Cheers, man. Cheers, dude. That was not Are you talking about the office? No. This is us. Alright, we're we'll gonna hang with Jack. I'll be back. Jack Barricamp from All Time Low? <laughs> my, uh, I love my that dad, guy! My dad was an OBGYN. He delivered babies as well. Fucking and hell. He delivered me, and Have you know what? That's kind of cool. That is cool. <laughs> this really fell to pieces. Switching into airplane mode again. We're not alright, but I'll pretend. Press my cheek against the gl glass. Gloss. Uh, just be good. I don't know who I am. Gloss? Glass. Hit me. <laughs> Any questions, Gloss? Gloss? Glass. Gloss? Glass. Ghost of You is the finale of Youngblood. I think we put it there for. You're never gonna make it! You know. The minute I start talking to you. Never gonna make it. Anyway, the right, dude- You're done. No! This, the this dude guy puts guy. out- Let me finish! The dude puts out a meal and pretends to dance with his now dead wife. And I think it's beautiful, he does it every day. 